Okay, hey Leo, let's um, see what energy you would like to come through the messages today for you. Uh, my readings are not date specific or time specific, they're you versus them scenarios and they can apply at any given moment in space time that you felt guided to the channel by spirit. I'm just trying to figure out where I wanted to place the camera because Oh man, I've been um procrastinating all day. I should have done these readings earlier. But I still am sick and I'm just like really wish I had more energy. But apparently I have to heal. <laughs> anyway, let's see what messages want to come through for you, Leo. I wanna try and get as as many of these readings done as I can. I just I've been struggling been struggling with energy this week and um uh, just having no energy and being sick just sucks because you can't do all the things you wanted to do right you want to plan and do all these things and then life happens so anyway it's just unfortunate because it was going to be like the the most time i've had to channel in a long time now Anyway, shut up, Haley. All right. <laughs> All right. So um, we have the spirit animal of the earth where I'm just talking out loud, thinking out loud. So this is a spirit animal of beginner's mind. So um, I'm just going to see what else comes through with this energy for you guys. But I feel like... Um, there's someone that you're connected to who's being forced to look at things from a brand new perspective with beginner's mind coming through. It's about seeing things from like a different perspective. So I feel like this is the masculine energy coming through here, Leo. So you could be dealing with a divine masculine or a masculine energy who is looking at your connection with a new mind. It's like a spiritual awakening energy. I feel like this masculine is seeing your connection now from a new perspective. I feel like he's longing for you from afar and he has romantic feelings for you. But I feel like um, he may have looked at the connection differently in the past. I feel like you're this divine masculine's dream come true or wish fulfillment. And I feel like maybe... He um, was focusing on some fears or negativity. So let's find out how he's looking at the connection differently because he's in beginner's mind. So what has shifted in this masculine's perception or consciousness? Why is he looking at things from beginner's mind? What has shifted in his reality for him to be thinking um, about you in a more romantic and dream come true kind of way? Let's clarify what has changed for him. Why is he looking at you differently? Okay, so I feel like you've got a masculine who's seeing you as, you know, the divine feminine that you are. You're coming up as the, the bison. So I feel like he's seeing you clearly now and he's um, seeing you as, you know, this beautiful and powerful divine feminine energy. And he's looking at you with brand new eyes. And I'm hearing, hearing that song Fresh Eyes by Andy Grammer. I got these fresh eyes. And I'll see you before. You know that song by Andy Grammer? It's called Fresh Eyes. The tune of the song's coming through my head. And so it's like the masculine has fresh eyes. You know, you know when you like dress up just a little bit and then they become like attracted to you again. I know he's looking at you with fresh eyes and he's seeing you from a brand new perspective. And he's longing for you from afar. So I feel like you've had a glow up. I think you've had a glow up, Divine Feminine. The masculine's seeing you from fresh eyes and he's He's, you've got his attention. So let's clarify <laughs> what the feminine spirit animal is. But yeah, the masculine's seeing you with fresh eyes. I've got these fresh eyes. Look up Andy Grandma, fresh eyes. That's really strongly coming through the message. He's got fresh eyes and he's seeing you from a new perspective. You've had a glow up and he's like looking at you as a wish fulfillment now. Okay. And then we have the whale. So this is a feminine energy who has, um, 
been suppressing her feelings for this masculine. She hasn't been communicating with him and she's been bottling everything up and she's not expressing in the current moment. So the masculine sees the feminine as his wish fulfillment, but the feminine is not in communication with this masculine. So I feel like you guys are in separation and you're disconnected from each other. So let's clarify your feelings to this masculine. You haven't expressed your feelings. Let's clarify why. Why haven't you expressed those feelings? <laughs> All right, so I feel like this is a feminine energy. Um, let's clarify why she hasn't expressed her feelings. Okay, so I feel like the masculine hasn't been showing much reciprocation of like um, romantic feelings in this connection and she's feeling a little bit overwhelmed due to his lap lack of reciprocation. So the feminine has some strong feelings to this masculine and she wants to take a leap of faith and she wants to go for it. Um, but she doesn't want like a casual thing. She would like, you know, the relationship to go to the next level. So if you guys are friends, she'd like you guys to actually just like go on a date and explore the connection because she has these feelings to this masculine. So she doesn't want to just like hit it and quit it and have like a one night stand. But she feels like the masculine hasn't been reciprocating her feelings. She feels like, you know, if you guys are in like a friendship, she feels like he's just friendly back to her, doesn't make an effort, doesn't ask to see her, doesn't want to spend time with her, doesn't like really um, reciprocate, you know, the effort. So she's been holding back her feelings because she's got no reciprocation from this masculine. And she's like, I'm just going to hide my feelings because I don't think this guy is into me. I don't think he wants to go on a date. I, I don't think he's wanting to come towards me. And she's like, and I'm not going to make an effort and look stupid. I also don't want to hit it and quit it and have a one night stand with someone who's not reciprocating. So the feminine has just pulled back her energy. That's the, the first message that wants to come through. So let's find out why the divine masculine energy is um, seeing you with fresh eyes. What's all that about? Let's clarify this energy. Why is he seeing you with fresh eyes? So I feel like it's a masculine who would like to resolve things with you and make a move and initiate. And he's seeing you with fresh eyes because he's seeing your worth, seeing your value. You've had a bit of a glow up in his eyes and... I feel like he's he's um feeling like the the nudge to come towards you and kind of resolve any confusion that the two of you guys may have had because you've you've had a glow up. Let's clarify what this glow up is. Why has the feminine had a glow up? Why is she looking so good? Like what's this energy that she's in? It's a glow up. Glow up energy. Yeah, I feel like um this feminine has a lot of admirers with the fairy who is kissed by the pixies and the maiden. So it's a divine feminine is really pure, very innocent. And she's very popular. She's got a lot of admirers. So I feel like the masculine sees her value because I feel like there's an element here where this feminine is being well admired. So he's maybe seeing you get a lot of attention from other people and you're very innocent, very pure and very sweet and very kind, and maybe he's been watching you and how you interact with other people. It's kind of seeing you in a new perspective. So I just feel like it's a masculine who, who realizes, you know, if he doesn't make a move soon, he's gonna, he's gonna be on the bench. He's going to not have an opportunity. It'll be a missed opportunity. So, what is the connective energy between the two of you guys, Leo? Okay, <clears throat> so it is a wish fulfillment for both of you, this connection. We got the starfish, which is a card of wish fulfillment. You're both each other's dream person. So why are we not making a move? If you're each other's dream person, what's the problem? We have interference. So there's been interference in the connection. I feel like you guys are each other's wish fulfillment. 
but there's been other people interfering in this connection and the masculine has to release the blockages and the feminine has to release the blockages. So um, if people have been interfering and getting in the way of this connection, the guidance is to release, you know, release the blockages and maybe the feminine has let go of the masculine as well because he hasn't been moving towards her and she doesn't want to look stupid so there's been an element of interference here let's clarify what the interference has been we have attraction Clarify that. So I feel like you guys are both very attractive people. And I feel like you've got other people that are attracted to you. And the interference has caused some trust issues between both of you because you're like, you know, both very good looking people. And I feel like there's um, other people chasing both of you because the feminine came up with like being very well admired. The masculine has people chasing him. So I feel like because you've got a lot of other people who are attracted to you, you guys are kind of like hesitant because you don't know if you can trust each other. So there's an element of some trust that, um, you know, needs to be built between you. So I just feel like there's been interference in the connection because you've got people that are attracted to you guys. You're very attractive. And I think that's causing some trust issues for both of you. Like, is this person going to be loyal? Is this person going to choose me? Am I going to get rejected? Is there someone else in the picture? There's all this like apprehension because of how attractive you both are. So let's find out. Um, let's find out from spirit. Like what action does this masculine want to take towards the feminine now that she's like had a glow up? And he's recognized his wish fulfillment. Okay, so it's a very shy masculine energy. So that's why he hasn't moved towards you, feminine. He's very shy. He's a bit mischievous and cute, though. But he's very shy. So the action he wants to take is approach you. But he's going to be a little bit shy in his approach. Clarify this. Because you trigger him. I think you make this masculine a little bit nervous and he gets like really triggered around you. So I get this kind of like schoolboy energy. And so he's really shy around you because he's very sensitive. <laughs> Clarify this. So he moves slowly because he's shy and nervous and sensitive. Let's clarify why. Because you're very, very, very strong, Divine Feminine. You're very powerful. You've got very powerful energy. And he gets a little bit nervous and intimidated around you. And I feel like your strength, your power sometimes triggers him. So how does this masculine want to approach you? Clarify this. Okay, so... You're very strong and you radiate your value. So I just feel like he's intimidated. He's a little bit nervous and he's gaining his courage. I think this is lion energy represents him gaining his courage. So he's going to approach you slowly, work through his triggers and gain his, his courage to take what action towards you. Clarify this. Put in the effort with the beaver. He's going to work hard to put in the effort to show you his feelings because you're his wish fulfillment. And what are his feelings? What work does he want to put in now? He wants to surrender to, surrender to God. He wants to surrender his ego. He wants to surrender to this path. So... I feel like this masculine's being divinely guided towards you with his intuition and he's receiving signs from the universe or synchronicities. He wants to put in the work because he feels like you're his divine counterpart and he wants to surrender to, to God, to a higher power. So I feel like he's seeing you from a brand new perspective because you're like this wish fulfillment and divine feminine energy. 
and he feels like he's being divinely guided towards you and you make him nervous and he gets triggered and he's finding his courage. I think he knows you're the one. So he wants to put in the effort and the work now and surrender to this path. Why does he want to surrender to the path? Let's clarify that. <clears throat> yeah, his intuition is guiding him to you. So you have um, this divine masculine's attention. And I think he knows because when you know, you know. So I think he knows you're the one for him. So he wants to surrender to this path and put in the effort. So I'm going to take this over to the extended reading now, Leo. You can um, follow me over there if, you, if you're resonating with the message. But it's basically a message here that says this masculine is seeing you with fresh eyes. He has romantic feelings for you. You're his wish fulfillment. Um, I think he's seeing you with fresh eyes because you've had a bit of a glow up. And you're in your divine feminine energy now. And you guys are each other's wish fulfillment, your divine counterparts. The feminine just is holding back on expressing her feelings because she doesn't want anything casual. She wants like a serious relationship with his masculine, but she doesn't want to come in too hot, too fast and embarrass herself and get rejected. So she's been waiting for reciprocation from the masculine. And um, that's why she hasn't like, you know, made a move. And you're her wish fulfillment. So I feel like the masculine is going to come in and give the feminine the reciprocation that she's waiting for. So let's find out what the guidance is. We have cunning like a fox and freedom. So I feel it's about closing out of this cycle and breaking free of your fears and listening to your instincts and being cunning and intelligent and witty and charming like the fox character. So we're closing out a cycle and breaking free of a cycle where the feminine didn't express her feelings and the masculine was too shy. So you guys are kind of mirroring each other. So we're actually going to be closing that cycle out. So the guidance is to break free of that cycle and get into that little fox energy where you've got your charm, your wits, your sense of humor and bring that playfulness and charm back into the connection. And have some fun chasing each other. All right, I really hope this helps. Take care. See you next time. Bye, Leo.